For a long time, standalone licenses of AutoCAD Mechanical have been able to run AutoCAD in the place of Mechanical, but for customers who use a network license to distribute seats, they couldn't. That restriction has been removed. Because the rules around network license cascading can be confusing, I thought it would be smart to talk about it. Many network customers will buy some seats of AutoCAD and some seats of Mechanical. This happens for different reasons. One might be that all the engineers simply haven't learned Mechanical's features yet and some training is needed before they're ready to upgrade. Here on the left, you see that five seats of Mechanical and five seats of AutoCAD were purchased for a total of 10 seats. What if the CAD manager wants to just have a few engineers train on Mechanical, say two engineers, and have the rest of the engineers, which would be eight, use AutoCAD during that time? This is like the picture on the right, which was not possible with the restriction in place. With that restriction removed, everyone's happy. We also understand that many customers don't upgrade every release, so there needed to be a way to give those customers access to this flexibility without forcing them to go through a deployment, which for a network license customer could be hundreds of seats. So even though the 2010 version of the software is available, for customers who are still using the 2009 version and do not plan to upgrade, they can still take advantage of license cascading by grabbing the 2010 license manager, which is a tiny download and a fast deployment compared to the full install. One important reminder, in the example I just showed, there were five seats of Mechanical and five seats of AutoCAD. With the addition of cascading, you can get as many as 10 AutoCAD seats, however you still can't go above the five seats of Mechanical since this is the higher priced product.